Hello, and welcome to our next installment of our first tea of Monterey County's virtual experience. We hope that everybody is doing well and staying safe during these uncertain times. We ho hope that you joined us last time when we were talking about responsibility, taking care of that what's under our control. Today, we'll be going over a few new skills with, a few, with another core value, and that's the core value of honesty. We'll also be talking about our golf skill of body balance with a balanced start, and we'll also be having a STEM project going, going on today with Coach Cynthia and Coach Viri. But first, we're going to send it over to Coach Brian, who's going to talk to us about our golf skills. Coach Brian? Hi guys, and welcome back to week number four of Golf Tips with your favorite coaches. This week is Golf Tips with Coach Brian, that's me, right? So today we're going to be working on the golf skill of body balance and focusing on a balanced start. And we're going to do that in a putting station. I actually have my putter right here all ready to go. The other stuff we're going to use today are, I have a bunch of Gatorade bottles. I have 10 of them actually. And then some golf balls. If you don't have golf balls or a golf club, I mean, you can use things like a ping pong ball. You can put a piece of paper up into a ball, use that. I mean, you can even use a broom if you want. And this could be water bottles any type of bottle, cone, anything really. Yeah. Welcome back to week number four of Golf Tips. This week is gonna be Golf Tips with Coach Brian. I have a fun game for you guys today. It's gonna to be putting, bowling. We're gonna do some really cool stuff. We're also gonna work on body balance today. Uh, before I get into body balance, so I'm gonna quickly explain this game to you. So in this game, we're gonna use three golf balls. If you don't have golf balls, you can use tennis balls, ping pong balls, soccer balls, any type of ball you have would work. I mean, you can even crumple up a piece of paper and use that, right? I have a golf club, but just like the golf balls, if you don't have a golf club, it's not the end of the world. You can use your foot, kick it like a soccer ball, use a baseball bat, use a broom, use anything you have, right? And I'm using water bottles. Hopefully you guys have something like water bottles at home. You can use maybe some cones if you don't, maybe a cup, a plastic cup, not glass, you don't want to break anything, right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one golf ball at a time and try to hit over as many water bottles as we can in each shot. Our goal is with all three golf balls to hopefully knock over all the water bottles. So to do this, one thing that's very important is our body balance, right? When we're hitting putts, we really want to make sure we have our balance, and especially a balanced start, right? Because the start is how everything gets going. If we're running a race, we need to get off to a good start, because if we don't get off to a good start, it's going to be hard to finish the race with a win, right? So just like that in golf, we want to get a good start to the race by making sure we set a precedent for our balance in the beginning, right? If we start our golf swing with a balanced start, we're more likely to have a balanced swing overall, right? So really, I'm gonna hit this golf ball, and I'm gonna really focus on having a balanced start. So I got off to a good balanced start there, and it helped me keep my body balanced throughout the entire shot. And some people may be wondering why body balance is important, and it's actually something that's very important in every sport, whether you're playing baseball, soccer, basketball, you name it, body balance is probably incredibly important, right? Because it's how we do everything. If I'm trying to hit a baseball and I don't have balance as I'm swinging, there's a good chance I'm not gonna be able to keep my eye on that ball and hit it, right? If I'm playing basketball and I'm trying to play defense, there's a hard, gonna be a lot harder for me to stay on my feet and be competitive if I'm not able to have my balance, maintain my balance. Right, so it's something that's hugely important. We can use it in golf, we can use it in everything else. And I hope you guys are able to use it at home. Maybe you guys can try this game out at home. Let me know how you do. Uh, hashtag golf at home and let us know. Did you guys have fun with that? Please let us know in the comments below and tell us what was some of your experience with the golf skills of body balance. I know sometimes it can be a little shaky, but we ho hope that you'll keep working at it. Now we're gonna go over to Cynthia and Viri with our STEAM project. Take it away, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to the First Tee Virtual STEM Experience. I'm Coach Viri, and this is Coach Cynthia. So today we're gonna be learning how to make hand sanitizer since we're now we're low on hand sanitizers in the stores. So Coach is gonna be demonstrating and I'll be doing a voiceover of how you can make your own hand sanitizer. So the ingredients that the materials you're gonna need is two containers, two small containers, a spoon, aloe vera gel, 
And lastly, but not least, rubbing alcohol. That is at least 70%. One, and the last thing we're also going to need is a measuring cup. Okay, first we want to get one half of aloe vera in the measuring cup. Then we want to get one fourth of rubbing alcohol. And we want to mix both of them in the mixing bowl that you choose, chose to mix. And afterwards we mix it for a while until you get the consistency you want. Since me and Vidi like a thicker consistency, we added a little vera. And then we started mixing until we finally achieved the consistency we wanted to do okay once we we're done mixing we want to put it in the small container you have left from the materials and we want to add it to that container so you could have it in storage and have it ready to go you could also add it to a small hand sanitizer container that is empty in order for you to have it on the go. The small container has to have a lid in order for it to be safe and also be it won't go rotten later on. Coach Vidi is going to demonstrate how this aloe vera is very great. And now we close our container and it's safe to go everywhere you want to go. Okay guys, so thank you for sticking with us for the last five minutes. I hope this was very educational in order for you to have hand sanitizer at your home. And now Coach Vidi is gonna say some final words. Hey guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed our video that we made for you guys. It was really fun for us and we will be using the hand sanitizer as well. Let us know if you guys made one too. Let us know if it came out good too. Thank you, bye. Hey guys, Coach Frankie here. Thank you for watching the fourth installment of our virtual experience. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Today we learned about honesty, body balance, and vision. So make sure you follow us on all social media sites, including Facebook and Instagram. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you guys stay safe. We can't wait to see you guys again. And we hope you tune in for the next installment of the virtual experience. This has been Coach Frankie, signing out. Bye-bye.